The past year has been a busy one for Boeing unmanned aircraft. Boeing received a contract to build two A-160T Hummingbirds for the U.S. Marines. The Hummingbird, which looks like a small helicopter, could supply remote bases, reducing the need to ship cargo by truck. Boeing subsidiary in situ incorporated received a U.S. Navy contract to develop its integrator for the small tactical unmanned aircraft system program. The integrator is designed for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance over land and water. The integrator builds on the design of in situ's Scan Eagle unmanned aircraft, which has reached almost 500,000 combat flight hours. The stealthy fighter size Phantom Ray prototype successfully completed its first two flights at Edwards Air Force Base in California. It be used for electronic warfare, electronic attack, uh, intelligence surveillance, reconnaissance type missions, strike, suppression of enemy air defenses. It's uh, proving out some of our rapid prototyping capabilities which are important for future competitiveness. Uh, it also is a, a technology test bed, various kinds of payloads and materials and capabilities and with that kind of flexibility we can really test out new technologies uh, get experience flying them, and use them to develop future products. Phantom Eye, another Boeing-funded prototype, was unveiled in St. Louis. The hydrogen-powered demonstrator is designed to stay aloft at 65,000 feet for up to four days, giving warfighters a persistent eye in the sky. You can stay above a battlefield for days on end and kind of serve as a communication pipeline for, the, uh, for our soldiers. Such an aircraft would immediately eliminate the current need to base aircraft in theater thereby eliminating the need for global basing and global supply chain. Boeing expects more accomplishments with these and other unmanned aircraft in the coming year.